Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get meta tag content with the help of Python Beautiful Soup. So first thing that we're going to do is we will open text editor, save one file with name demo.py. Now type in import URL lib dot request. Next thing from BS4 import beautiful soup okay now the next thing to do we will create one page variable that will call for url lib dot request dot url open within the method we will use http and name of any website of your choice for me i'm going to use my website next thing to do we will create one html variable name and call for beautiful soup method and here this method we will call to read the content of our page and also it we will pass with html dot parser next thing to do we will create one loop so for let's say link in html dot find underscore all method we will check for meta okay so we will first print let's say link dot get name of that meta tag then within print link dot get then we will get carset okay also we'll print link dot get then within carset we will call for content also we will print link dot get and here we will check for scheme of that meta content so these are some of the properties name care set content and scheme so we will open command prompt type in python the name of our file dot py and it should show you that details so it will go through the website and then show the content so here you see it is now printing unicode value then description then title of the page then robots so the reason it shows robots is because we are printing the name and its content also no dp no wider is part of meta tag also the viewport where width set to device width and initial scale to one also page title and page url also ms validate value and here you see you have few other non and repeated values okay so the reason you see the repeated values here is because there is spacing or empty space or value not related to meta so it will not get printed even a space bar will result in none value here okay so this is the code to get content from meta tag so you can pause the video and go through the code